Hi there, this is Northern Access, and today we're going to show you how to do the firmware upgrade on your Wide Eye iSavvy and upgrade it to the latest firmware version, which is the i, which you can see right here that we have on our desktop already. It's the R01.0.3. The three is covered up, and we also have the uh, Wide Eye iSavvy installation instructions and release notes that you can all download uh, right from our website at northernaccess.com. So we'll just get right into it, show you how to uh, get started. You of course want to have your uh, Wide Eye Eye Savvy plugged in as we have here. You can see that we got it plugged in. You don't want it going down while it's doing a firmware upgrade. The lights are blinking. You don't have to do anything else except for hold the power button down, which is that button right there. And uh, and basically wait until the uh, the arrows go from red to green, and then they'll start flashing like that. They'll stay flashing until you're done. But uh, from there, it's going to broadcast a Wi-Fi hotspot that you're going to basically want to log into on your uh, your computer of choice, whether it be Windows or Mac. Of course, this is a Windows terminal. So you're going to take a look right down here in the corner and to see if it's open. You see there that actually you can see that we're logged into the iSavvy. But you can open that up and see which ones are actually broadcasting. You can see there, there's the iSavvy. We're connected to it. Now when you hit it, it's just going to ask you for a password. For So for those that, that don't remember uh, which or where to get the password, this is like a, a router you get from, uh, you know, from AT&T or from, you know, anything that you hook up. So basically, you go to the bottom of the terminal. And you'll see right here, let me focus in. There is the uh, password. It says SSS or SSID PW on the right side, and then there's about uh, eight or nine digit with letters and numbers, and you're going to type that in as your password. So that is going to be your password to access the uh, the Wi-Fi network. Once you actually get into that you're going to be ready to uh, go ahead and log in to the the web interface is what it's called so let me go ahead and show you how to go ahead and uh, download the firmware first you can of course find it on the wide eye website but we have our website opened up here um, it's pretty simple of course you can see we're at northernaccess.com it's spelled northern and then access is a little different a x c e s s dot com and then you just go over here to the support side go down to isat hub support and we're always going to have the latest versions of firmware you click on that it'll take you straight to the uh, MRSAT ISAT hub support documents and it has all of the uh, necessary documents that you need so you want to go ahead and scroll down and you see there white eye I savvy firmware drivers and install instructions this is where you're going to go ahead and download your uh, latest version it says as you can see right there I'll use the little arrow uh, right here the uh, R01.0.3 uh, firmware version and installation instructions, they all come in one. But right below it, you'll see there that we also have the firmware upgrade instructions and release notes. So if you want to download that separately, uh, you can do that too. And also there's the uh, firmware previously uh, release notes also behind it if you want to see what they did previous to this one so anyway 
This is the latest one. It is a zip file, so you'll have to extract it. We've already got it extracted, as I showed you earlier. And um, so from there, once you already extracted, it'll go to your downloads file or uh, basically wherever you uh, have it set to download. If it's a Mac, you know, it might go to, um, uh, well, your downloads too, I guess. But anyhow, um, so we've already got, got it accessed into the Wi-Fi. So from there, you want to go ahead and go into your browser. Now that you, let's pretend you already got it, the uh, firmware downloaded and the installation instructions, everything already extracted onto your desktop. Then once you open your browser, you're going to dial in this right here, 192.168.1.1. Dot three five and then hit enter. The minute you hit enter, you're going to see this little screen right here username and password with add value enabled uh, kind of logo there with the login. And the password is just going to be 1234. And then you hit enter. So you see that takes us right into that. Now, we also have uh, the, the instructions for the uh, installation already pulled up here as well. This is what you'll see. So first thing you want to do is enter into safe mode. It should do it automatically for you, but if it doesn't, there's a manual way to do it. So you've connected your... We've already connected it to the Wi-Fi. We've entered into the uh, the second stage of dialing into the browser. Now we want to go to navigate to settings, terminal settings, and then firmware upgrade on the unit itself uh, to perform the, the upgrade. So we'll go uh, over here and get over here back to the uh, the terminal. So as you can see right here, there's settings, and then there's terminal settings. So we want to go ahead and click on that. And then we see firmware upgrade. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let me go in a little deeper there so you can see it. So now it's going to make me look for it. So it says that it's going to reboot into safe mode. So let me go ahead and hit firmware upgrade. So it's waiting for the terminal to reboot into safe mode uh, currently. You see that it's counting down as we speak. Once it gets into safe mode, then uh, then basically it it will make us choose or select the um, the firmware. This is the kind of the the not so fun part of actually. Um, doing the but one thing that you'll notice when it is actually entering in the safe mode if all of those aren't red then something's not going right so that is a good thing when you see them all illuminated red like that that means it is going into safe mode correctly uh, so right now we still have about uh, 25 seconds to go and I was hoping not to make this a long video, but boy, this uh, kind of turned it upside down. But anyhow, we're going to try to go for it. Let this uh, thing count down. The lights have illuminated once again. Counting down. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have rebooted into safe mode, and it makes us enter it again. So we do admin, and 
then one, two, three, four. And you see we're already in firmware upgrade mode. We're going to choose the file that's on our desktop. Let me scroll down to where it's at. There it is. It's the uh, one right there that has the ISV at the end. Select it. And then, of course, hit open. And then hit upload. And as you see there, it says transferring firmware upgrade package. And that's really all there is to it. So to keep this short, that is really basically it. Once the, the firmware upgrade is done, then you see there it's uh, going to go through the steps. Once that is done, then you're going to want to reboot the uh, entire iSavvy again. Uh, and you can do it right from uh, the settings here, or you can do it you know, manually. Either way, you absolutely have to reboot it. But it's going to take about 15 minutes, so we're not going to let you hang on uh, that long. You can see it's only at 2%. So it'll take a little while to actually transfer, but that is how you do your firmware upgrade. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always call us at northernaccess.com at 877-299-9931. My name, or I'm one of the support techs here. You can uh, ask for me if you like. My name is Jeremy. Uh, again, this is Northern Access with the firmware upgrade for the Wide Eye iSavvy version R01.0.3.